My sister sent me a picture of a cake I made like when I, like probably 12 years ago of the Scooby-Doo mystery machine and it was a hot hot mess and I just giggled at it and then I said where did you find this picture and she said you made that and I'm like oh god so it was one of those moments where I was like okay I'm doing better all right yeah I don't know if it was like a genuine breakthrough but I did a competition show on Food Network and the first time I ever was on the show I won so that was kind of an ego boost like oh my god okay like I can play with these people that I've idolized for years it wasn't like just a one moment it was just like a period where I'm like okay I'm like one of them now so there was a time uh, a few years ago where I seriously considered quitting altogether. Uh, it was just a rough patch with work and with sick things that I had, had filmed. I literally quit my job and I drove to the farmer's market and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a great dinner. We're gonna celebrate me being done with this. And I get a phone call and it was Craftsy. And they were like, I don't know if you know who we are, but we only have one cake decorating class and we want you to come out and, and do a class. And then that's how all that started. So Craftsy is the reason why I didn't quit. So thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I guess starting out the best piece of advice I could have gotten from anyone is that this is gonna take a really long time. And I started out and thought, I'm a cake designer. No, you're not. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of practice, a lot of work, a lot of nights sleeping on sacks of flour and crying a lot. Just practice, just pay your dues. One day, you'll be good at what you do.